Hello viewers, this is Novel Shah. Once again, welcome you all to my Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 tutorial. In my last video, I have discussed how to configure SMTP server as a smart host. Today's video, I am gonna discuss about uh, null client configuration in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 environment. What is null client? When we configure a SMTP server as a null client that means this server will not store mails locally rather than it will forward the mails in another machine so this is actually called null client and now we will see how to configure SMTP server as a null client in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 environment so to do that the first thing we need to do is we need to install the package that is required for SMTP configuration the package name is postfix yam install postfix if you do not know how to use uh, yam server you can check my previous video I have already discussed how to configure yam server so after the package uh, installation gets finished you need to add the smtp service in your firewall by using this command which is firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add service equals smtp once it is added reload your firewall by using the reload option and then start the service system CTL enable postfix first enable the service and then start it right then we need to modify the file so that we can make this server as an null client and to do that go to the etc postfix folder and then open the file you can check the files and folders uh, here currently uh, under postfix folder by using ls options so you can see there is lots of uh, options like uh, we can see some folder and files here so we need to modify the file which is called main.cf so to open that file use the editor which is vim vim editor uh, and then space the file name which is main.cf right now go to the top of the page and scroll down a little bit until you get the my hostname option okay so in my hostname remove the hashtag <coughs> by pressing the delete key and by pressing i key go to the insert mode and write your hostname here so in my case my hostname is server1 dot example dot com go down a little bit where you need to specify your domain name in my case my domain name is example dot com ok go down a little bit in the my origin option make sure you remove the hashtag from my origin equals my domain ok enable this option my origin equals my domain now uh, go down a little bit in the inet interface option make sure it is set to localhost ok by default it uh, it is set to localhost so you do not have to change anything and it interface and then go to the my destination option 
in my destination option remove all this so that you can keep it blank and then go to the my network section in my network section remove the hashtag from my networks option and remove any IP address except the loopback address which is 127.0.0. dot slash the cider 8 so configure my networks like this just keep the loopback address go down a little bit more until you get the relay host option here in relay host option remove the hashtag from the last relay host option and specify the SMTP server address that will be used as a forwarder tp.example.com in my case I am just using my machine because I do not have any other machine configured here and then you need to specify one more thing which is called local underscore transport calls error colon and then the message error message this is an error okay so if you want to show the error message you can specify by using this option local underscore transfer equals error and then colon then space this is an error okay just save and get exit from this window and restart the postfix service once again system cto restart postfix service once it is get restarted you can send email to your user okay let me create a user so that i can send email user at test user one now by using mail space hyphen v you can send email to this user test user test user one mail hyphen v test user one and at the rate the machine address in my case which is server one dot example dot com okay and then hit enter here you need to specify the subject this is a test mail for test user 2 hit enter here in the body part you can write the email hi this is a test mail for test user 2 thanks let me hit enter and to get out from the mail option you need to type dot once and then hit enter right now uh, go to the machine and check your email so as I am using one virtual machine I am just switching to the user su space hyphen test user 2 does not exist oh sorry uh, my username is test user 1 actually test user 1 ok and then uh, I have actually made a mistake in my subject as well uh, that this I have specified that it is test user 2 but it is it will be actually test user 1 ok no problem just type mail and hit enter uh, it is saying that no mail for test user 1 because we have configured this machine as a null client it will not store any machine locally if you go to the other machine and check this mail you will see there will be a mail for you and that is how we can configure a Red Hat Enterprise machine as a 
null client okay so that is all for today thanks very much for watching my video please share with your friends and in my next video i am going to discuss about some other topics till then you guys take care have a good day bye bye